All right, so quick FYI, this channel assumes that you have read whichever manga I'm talking about. Up to date. No casuals allowed. This channel is for straight professionals. Okay? All right, so here's what we're dealing with. Deluxe Edition Book 2. Flick through the Master of Swords, Chapter 2. Assume the position. Let's get started. The King of Midland's brother, Julius, thought he caught Griffith lacking, but Griffith pulls through, diagnoses the problem, then calls Guts to execute the solution. Griffith beats about the bush a little, but then cuts to the chase. Here's the mission. Kill the king's brother because he tried to kill me, and you can't fail. No pressure. Guts says bet. Griffith says bet. Next chapter. Guts swings to Julius's crib, dressed like a whole menace. He watches Julius ragdolling Adonis, his son, from the roof and starts having Gambino flashbacks. But he represses the trauma like a trooper and continues the mission. Night hits. He sneaks in through a window and deads Julius. Mission accomplished. But Adonis steps in before the boss music is over and dies from secondhand smoke. Guts escapes the soldiers but his conscience follows him and he passes out in a sewer where he is pressed by nightmares of his past and present. Now we get serious. In this next scene we see an emotionally numb Guts. He replies to Casca's grilling by just requesting to see Griffith. In this panel it shows clearly how much of an absolute mess Guts is. Just look at his eyes. This would be the only time Guts killed a child that was fully human. Black swordsman girl doesn't count. Her dumb ass got killed trying to calm down a horse. Guts just chopped her possessed dead body. Rosina and the wasp kids from the conviction arc don't count either because they were legit monsters. This was a regular human boy. But the day only gets worse from here. Feeling disgusted and ashamed with himself, he runs to Griffith for comfort only for the man he murdered for to snake him and all of his people to impress an underage girl. I know times were different, but remember that. Anyways, it was so foul. Guts risked his life for him, performed a mission that would have been impossible for anyone else, ending with him accidentally putting Adonis on a t-shirt just to get snaked by his boy for some princess poom. The ritual of sacrifice stands tallest when it comes to Guts' past traumatic experiences but I don't think the death of Adonis gets enough credit. Which moments in Berserk don't get enough attention for their overall trauma to our board? I want to know for future content. Also, a Cedro video will be dropping soon. That high key needs more research hours, so that comes when it comes. Like the video when you, if you like the video, and subscribe for more content. Thanks.